big of a problem is this scams against veterans? It is a pretty big problem. In 2022, all consumers reported to us losing over $8 billion to, to scammers, to various kinds of fraud. Now, obviously, veterans are a subset of that, but they've lost millions and millions to fraud as well. What are some of the most common types of scams that veterans are encountering? The top scams that are targeting veterans are business imposters, government imposters, um, tech support scams, some online shopping and uh, prizes, sweepstakes, lotteries, those kinds of scams. Is it safe to say that a lot of scammers are posing as the VA or the Social Security Administration uh, to try to reach these veterans? I think there certainly are scammers that are posing as, as VA, as uh, Social Security, even as the Federal Trade Commission. And so we know that scammers are targeting veterans to maybe get at their benefits, right? Because uh, veterans have earned access to some really valuable benefits like their pension, uh, disability benefits, mortgage-related benefits. And scammers are gonna go where that money is and they're gonna try to find a way to trick you into revealing personal information what are some tips to protect myself? Well, first of all, if you get a telephone call, an email, a text out of the blue, and they want you to um, give them personal information or to click on a link, don't do it because that's a prime tool for scammers. Carol with the FTC, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much.